A Greenfield man is tonight charged with several criminal felonies accused of molesting multiple young girls. Jenny Runovich shares why prosecutors fear there may, may be more victims. As a child care worker, 26 year old Jericho Johnson had daily contact with kids. Prosecutors say he used that position of trust to commit crimes against children. Court documents reveal he admitted to fondling four girls under the age of 14, telling investigators, quote, I messed up. Greenfield police got the first report at J.B. Stevens Elementary on Valentine's Day at the YMCA after school program where Johnson worked and has since been fired. A nine year old told her dad a worker touched her and her friend under their clothes while playing a game. That child trusting their parent and sharing those things, that was really the break we needed to begin the investigation. It really kind of began to unravel from there and we just followed one lead to the next. Within days of police arresting Johnson and asking parents to talk to their kids, two more alleged victims came forward. Young girls who said he touched them too, including one who told him to stop and slapped him, breaking his glasses. The girls said he gave them gifts, a cell phone, toys, money. Even with Johnson in jail, the investigation is still active. Sure. So is there concern there could even be more? Oh, yeah, there naturally there, there is concern. That's because Johnson's worked with kids for years at the YMCA program, volunteering at this church as a part-time teacher's aide at Shining Stars Child Care Academy. Absolutely, it makes us mad, beyond mad. Where he left eight months ago. We had no red flags. All federal and state background checks were done. Um, we're all in shock as well. And angry, she says, that someone hired to protect kids is now accused of hurting them. Three of my teachers and myself have grew up with abuse as well. So for us, it's hitting home very much because we have been in those positions. Johnson's now being held here in the Hancock County Jail on a $100,000 cash bond. If he posts bond, he has to wear a GPS monitor. Meanwhile, police ask any more potential victims to call them. In Greenfield, Jenny Ranovich, 13 News.